Fidget Tech is a show based on a growing company of fidget spinner distributors. Because of its growing popularity of fidget spinners, many new employees have joined the field to help the demand. As always, employees must follow a code of conduct, requiring them to follow laws that are appropriate in the workplace. Unfortunately, one employee decides not to follow the rules by making personal purchases on the company's credit card and not disclosing it even when he was asked to do so. At the end of the series, the employee eventually faces consequences for their actions after finally admitting to their fraud. I would like to introduce to you our first character. He goes by the name of George Russell. He is a new CFO for Fidget Tech. He is in his mid-30s and has a history of not staying too long with other um, occupations. He came highly recommended from his previous employers and is well-liked within the company and his staff. His management style is to delegate much of his work. He is very competitive and can be ruthless in business, which is how he has been able to advance so quickly. Meet our second character. She goes by the name Dara Brown. She an ex experienced accountant payable specialist. She started with Fidget Tech when the company opened working on the production floor. Because of her excellent work ethic, she was promoted to supervisor. She was moved to accounting after improving process in production where it was discovered that she is also good with numbers. She is also very analytical and can pick up new processes quickly. She is a good leader that is very hands-on and frequently works alongside her employees or in production to get a better idea of what they need. Dara is 5 feet tall and slightly overweight after having children. She loves to cook and is very involved in her children's lives. Meet our third character, Brian. He is an accounts receivable specialist for our company. Brian is a high school graduate with some community college experience, which is how he got the current position. He has no real leadership ability, but also has no desire to be a leader, so it all works out. Brian is in his 20s and is more interested in spending his paycheck than actually earning it. Although he is not lazy, he will do the work that is presented to him, but he is not very motivated to do so he is single and has a girlfriend but it's more of convenience purposes than anything else meet our fourth character jackie johnson jackie is a manager of the human resources she has been working for fidget tech for a few years now after relocating to florida from alabama Jackie is a college graduate and is now 30 years old. Although she's not a good listener, Jackie loves to talk about her life and her family of cats. Despite the fact that Jackie is a nonsense person, she expects the best out of herself and others who are around her. She leads by fear and intimidation, but still somehow believes she is well-liked and respected around the company. Last but not least, meet our fifth character, Patrick Erickson. Patrick is a staff accountant assigned to complete the audit on Fidget Tech. He is experienced, intelligent, and has worked for cost representatives over 20 years. He has done hundreds of audits over the years, so he knows all the tricks people use to hide mistakes or theft. He is friendly to everyone, but very serious when he gets down to business. Patrick is in his 50s, tall and very thin, with graying hair that is also very thinning. He has had his CPA license for three decades, so he knows what he's talking about. Our team, the 16 halves, has dedicated our time to two different types of management concepts. Our first one is included in our TV series, consisted of whistleblowing. Our second concept includes the code of conduct. You can also find that a part of our TV series. We emphasize on code of conduct by displaying a member of Fidget Tech where he does not comply with federal rules for business. He went against code of conduct and spent money for his own leisure. The company's money to 
be specific. Whistleblowing was demonstrated when an employee caught onto his fraud and took a stand and turned his legal actions in. Group Reflections Although this summer semester has been a little tough for all of us due to two students living in Tampa and three students living in St. Petersburg, we still learned to work together to create this TV show and we learned through all the difficulties that came with it. We learned to work together even when we all lived far from one another, but we also learned to better communicate with one another. We also learned that great management concepts in a fun way instead of a boring way. All of the group members agreed that we learned better communicating via different methods and how to communicate agreements and disagreements and came to a conclusion together. These are recommendations from the 16 halves group to future students who will be taking principles of management. Our group recommends future students to learn different methods of communication. A group with great communication is on the correct path to success, as they would say. If you learn how to work together, even if you cannot physically get together with your group, it would be great. Another important recommendation is to work ahead. At the beginning of the semester, we would put assignments off until last minute, like when they're due on Sunday, we would try to get together as a group and do it on Sunday. But then at the end of the semester, we learn 
to do our assignments at the beginning of the week and not leave it to last minute. Um, and by doing so, we were able to give 100% out all to complete every single assignment and to do well as a group overall.